In this video, we will show you how to make transformations using numeric values and the controls of the tool options bar. When you select something, a floating bar appears on the top part of the design area. This bar provides information and various options about the currently selected object. First, you can see and manage the horizontal and vertical coordinates of the selected object. If you change these values and press Enter, the object is moved to the defined coordinates. In this way, you can place an object in an exact position within the hoop. The positioning is based on the object's center. The following options are sizing options. You can see and change the width and the height of the object. For example, you may want to shrink an object to fit in a specific width. If you change the width, the height value changes proportionally to the width. This happens because proportional option is enabled. If you uncheck this option, then you can scale its dimension individually. So, for example, you can change this into 50 by 50. The next two options can be used to scale an object by a specific percentage. If proportional is checked, then the height is scaled up by 50% as well. Uncheck in order to scale freely. Another useful option is duplicate. If you press this button, an exact duplicate is created on top of the original object. In the same way, you can press mirror X or mirror Y and the object is mirrored based on the X or the Y axis. Furthermore, you can easily rotate any object. For example, you can rotate by 30 degrees. On this bar, you may also see additional options, which are available for special types of objects. For example, the ready-made shapes have, apart from the general options, additional specific options. When entering text, you get all the text options. In general, the available options vary according to the selected object or the performed operation. Therefore, remember to have a look at the tool options bar for the available options.